You're about to watch a clip from the Video Maker Podcast. To watch or listen to the full episode, click the link in the description. Um, okay, good. Maybe a good segue to uh, the next one, which is truck. So yes. We, the next two uh, moves use the same piece of equipment, but they're utilized differently. So the truck... And they're confusing because the moves are names of not only the tool, but also parts of that tool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the first is truck, which is the actual part of the dolly that you're setting on, right? That's, yep. the, that's called the truck, but it's also a move called the truck, which is side to side. So going left to right, right to left. Yep. And definitely you see this in cinema. You see this in everything now. Yep. Uh, this is why sliders are so prevalent. Mm -hmm. prevalent. It's just amazing to do this kind of stuff on product shots uh the big thing on these kinds of moves is uh the bigger your shot the more your distance your camera has to move mm -hmm. so uh example of this i we're shooting an exterior of a building it's a street corner uh and we wanted to get a little bit of parallax on it and but we were wide enough and our dolly was only 15 feet uh, that going uh, 15 feet was hardly enough mm -hmm. to get you to actually feel anything. So I, we ended up just taking a photo and being like, well, it's better. The, the building looks better that way than presented with this uh, kind of awkward, sl slow movement that's not being, you know, their shake for no benefit, right? Yeah, yeah. Really, you're going here for this parallax view. So that's definitely something you want to take into account based on what your subject is, right? There's that famous shot in um, Saving Private Ryan, of basically it's towards the first part of the film after they land on Normandy and the, the army is, you know, um, coalescing, right? Getting ready to, to um, proceed into Europe. And there's a shot of basically a giant dolly shot that is like following this truck driving through the army. And yeah, it's, just it's like, showing the, the, the soldiers there yes, and, and what they're yes, having exactly. to deal with and like telling all the little stories so they can get to the main story, but like by showing all the other sufferings around. Yeah. There. So it's this big wide shot and I don't know how long the, the truck move goes for. I'm going to guess it's 150 feet. Yeah. I was, I was thinking at least a couple hundred feet. It's, yeah. it's probably a really long track. I mean, it's a huge scene. We're talking about hundred people in the scene, yeah. you know, you're, you're, but it's, it's keeping along with, was it a vehicle or is it, I'm trying to yeah, remember. Yeah, there's like a Jeep or something. Yeah, that's following through. in. And then that one, it actually, and then it slows down and then follows the, so there's, a, you can combine a lot of this stuff. Uh, but those, those moves, but the cool thing is, like you said, with the drone, you can do these, these types of moves. That's what we ended up, it's like, oh, now you can do an exterior of a building and, and uh, you could go from left to right, or you could keep it directly in center and orbit around it or whatever. We're going to talk about orbits. Uh, you could uh, do this with a uh, stabilizer, you know. And totally. walk it if you can keep it smooth enough. Yeah, or, you know, in post or whatever. Yeah, uh, in, or, um, I mean, really a monopod does all this stuff, right? If you if you got it all working together enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, um, definitely I'd say you see a truck and the next one a dolly um, in... Everything. Know, everything, and, and not only that, but it's like the percentage of shots that are offering one of these two moves is significant. I'd say more so in, in film than in like say TV, but in TV, it's still, it's still pretty prevalent. Yeah. Uh, even outside of like the, the uh, TV dramas and stuff, because it's, it's valuable. I mean, I mean, I think I saw a really good, a cool slider shot on a cooking show that was the other day, you know, it was live. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and this, this is stuff that's finding its way into high end newsrooms and all the rest You're, you know, uh, man, they're doing even more than that of, you know, putting Wolf Blitzer in a, in making him a, uh, like he was on uh, Star Wars, like mm. he beamed in or something. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I remember that. He was a hologram or something. He was a hologram. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. Yeah.